Assalamualaikum and good day. Uh, today we are going to do a group discussion five, uh, which is for LEC 2019, uh, DIY project. Okay, today's uh, topic is about uh, stationary holder. Uh, so this week, uh, me, uh, Najiha and me will be the presenter. Uh, so uh, I'm going to uh, state my name and my metric number first. My name is Nunajah Azira Binti Murad and my metric number is 203731. Najihah? Uh, hi, my name is Siti Asyaf Husna Binti Muhammad Nur. My metric number is 200982. Next is Shazana. Hi everyone, my name is Shazana Akilah Binti Mas'ad and my metric number is 200-872. Next is Arvin. Hi everyone, I'm Arvin Alexander. My metric number is 196255. Next, I pass to Taki. Hi everyone, my name is Ahmad Taki Dumit Amis. My metric number 196404. I will pass to Sangita. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Sangita and my matrix number is 197398. I'll pass to Roshni. Hi everyone. My name is Roshni Sirkumar and my matrix number is 196679. I'll pass it to Punita. Hello everyone. My name is Punita Tangvelu. My matrix number is 196678. I'll pass it to Sujita. Hi, my name is Sujita Almogam. My metric number one nine eight zero double five. So I'll pass it to the presenter. Uh, okay, so our uh, today's topic is stationary holder. So let me share the screen first, okay? Okay, can you can you all see the screen? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to, uh, so Najiha will uh, going to present first. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Najiha? Uh, I will talk about the uh, apparatus. Uh, Ajua, can you please the slide? So these are the apparatus that I use. So I have uh, a plastic container, a water color, some color papers, and then I strap scissors, glue, and mostly some tissues. As we need to do the procedures. Uh, so, uh, the procedure is uh, first uh, wrap uh, the plastic container with, uh, by using the color paper and, and with the glue. Uh, that's for Najiha. Uh, as for me, I'm coloring the plastic container by using uh, the paint uh, using different colors. Uh, so, uh, the next one is uh, make the decoration. So, uh, for Najiha, uh, she used tissue, uh, she, she's making uh, some t uh, flower made of tissue. So uh, first uh, she made the pattern on the tissue with the watercolor. And then uh, she cut the tissue into half uh, by using the scissors. Uh, and she uh, and make sure to stick that, the tissues uh, and fold it. Uh, back and forth. So uh, then uh, she tied the tissue with the string of thread at the middle. Uh, then she pulled 
each of the tissue to create the flower as you can see uh, on, uh, on the screen. So lastly, uh, she just stick the flower to the container. Uh, as for me, uh, I'm using the decoration from uh, the IY the IY saw. So it it just uh, I would I just stick the decoration on the container. So I don't have to like doing what Naji has doing. But yeah, Naji has um uh, uh, making the it DIY. So she make even the even the decoration from the sketch. So this is the result. The upper one is Najihas and the below one is mine. Uh, yep, that's it. Uh, so now uh, we are going to discuss about the impact on one's personal, uh, one's personal life, society and environment. So, uh, but first, uh, what is your view about our product? Anyone? It looks good. And it looks good. Lah. <laughs> Congrats. Good job. Uh, as for me, I guess uh, it's actually a good uh, innovation and uh, creativity because uh, Again, you guys have I know uh, used up the recycled materials you know to product uh, to produce uh, a container you know so it's actually uh, it's a good innovation because um, mostly like people like us we will throw away the uh, plastic bottles you know instead of you know re reusing it so uh, the idea the idea of using reusing uh, plastic bottle into a container to fill up your pencils and I you know stationaries is actually a good uh, initiative. Lah. So I find it uh, it's actually a, a good thing that uh, everyone should you know try, try it out and you know uh, make make use of make use of it. Lah. So <laughs> that's it. Yeah I agree with you Suji. Uh, as for me I have double set of stationery so uh, I have uh, one set for uh, for me to go to the classes and one set for me to study at the room uh, so I really need a stationery holder as my stationery is like a bit like you know uh, when we study we use uh, we tend to like just the stationery so uh, it's hard for me uh, to clean it up after so yep but seriously guys I, I just like uh, as you can see just now right um, Najiha use uh, tissue for the decoration I just I just cheat a little and just buy the decoration from the DIY uh, uh, store so yep <laughs> Uh, what about uh, others, about the function of the product, maybe? Mm, I agree with what Najwa has said. Uh, like, uh, we can do the pencil holder so that the table will be, like, make the table more organized. So, like, when the table is more organized, like, uh, the small items like erasers all won't go missing easily. You know, right? Like every time our eraser most pro, um, uh, mostly will go missing. So like with this pencil holder, uh, our items won't go missing. Uh, that's my point. Uh, I think it's a very creative. Um, I think it's a, a very creative and I found it is it's a eco-friendly so uh, I think it's a, it's a good it's a good project so uh, well done guys so uh, that's my point for me I love how who made the tissue huh? was it Najwa or the tissue idea is very creative because um, it's not 
all the time we see someone making a DIY project out of tissues. So it's actually like my first time, you know, seeing someone decorating using tissues. So it was very nice. And besides um, like um, misplacing your stationary items, um, when you put it on a table, it can actually be a good decoration. So it doesn't look very messy. It actually looks more decorative on your table. So yeah, that is from me. I think for me, it is a very useful project since we can manage our table, organize them very well. And I think this part, we uh, use it to put our uh, stationery. We can uh, put our maybe makeup or other stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, it is a very useful project. Uh, for me, I really like this DIY project because uh, uh, since we learn from home, we don't really need to bring our pencil and the stationery to the classes. So we can use this stationery holder at your table. So it's more organized to study at your home. And uh, I think it's very good for everyone to try this project uh, at your home. So, yeah. I also think it's a good idea since we are using recycled items to do the stationery holder and also make our table organized and won't be messed up when while we are studying. So yeah, uh, thanks, Benita. I think I agree with uh Sangita. Uh, like uh, she said just now that uh. Uh, for the tissue one, you know, like uh, there are some fancy tissue flowers uh, where I put around the container, right? So I think besides from we can use the uh, stationary holder to put our stationaries like pens or concrete whatsoever. And uh, then uh, it also can, yeah, uh, be a decoration as well, as long as you know how to decorate the container creatively according to your preferences, right? So, Maybe, I think now we can uh, discuss about the challenges. Uh, uh, I think I'll share about my experience first. As for me, I did the one uh, with uh, tissue flowers. Uh, yeah, it take quite some time for me to, uh, you know, do the flowers one by one because, uh, you know, the tissues are fragile and they are easy to tear off and yeah. For that, I think that's the biggest challenge because after you uh, color the tissues and they are wet, uh, wet, sorry. So you have to make sure that uh, you wait until the tissue dry uh, as as dry as possible so that it's easier for you to pull off the edges uh, to create the flowers. Yeah, maybe um, Najwa want to share your changes while doing your project. Uh, well, Najiha has the challenges with the tissue. I have my own challenge with the pin. So, uh, basically, you all know, a uh, pin is a uh, uh, pin takes time to like. Uh, what what is it called? Dry up, dry up. So, um, so it takes a lot of time. Uh, for me to like, uh, before they decorate it, uh. But since I decorated like with the decoration from the IY store, so I made it like easier uh, from Najiha. And yep, I think that that is my challenges. Oh yeah, my second challenges. I'm not creative enough like Najiha. So yep, I just use all my power of creativity. <laughs> To decorate the stationary holder, and that's really lot. That's uh, I do I do my best on that stationary holder. Yep. So um. Yep. Now. And can I can I tell my opinion? Yes. Yes. Okay. So for me, what uh, challenges I see is the material you guys use. Like. So maybe like, if we go to the shop, we can buy a new like, uh, how to say, normally it will be like, uh, wood, they will use wood to create a 
stationary holder, right? So now you guys use the plastic, right? If you if you guys like hold it very firmly, it might go like spoil. That's the only like I see as a challenge. But overall, it looks good. That's all. Okay. Uh, can I share my opinion too? I think uh, this is uh, since I think I need one to uh, the wet this holder. So I think maybe I will do it by myself. And I think from uh, your project, uh, the idea is very good. But instead of using uh, so big flowers, uh, I think I will use a smaller one because I don't like very fancy stuff on my on my uh, uh, folder and uh, maybe uh, I will do it uh, a very minimalist uh, style. You guys agree? <laughs> that one is depends on your preference, right? So some people like prefer to put the power, some people like prefer to like to be like minimalized. So I think there should be nothing, nothing a problem. <laughs> All right. Yeah, good. yeah, it's that's good. correct, right? You want to save the time, right? <laughs> so yeah, you can, yeah, you can just, uh, I mean, decorate the uh, holder according to your preferences. And for me, I do the flowers because I just love to do, you know, those little things to like one by one to those, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, small details. Mm. Hey, Najwa, you use the tissues to do the flower, right? No, no, no. That's Najiha. Yeah. Najiha. Yeah, she used the tissues, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, yes. I think like if you use a A4 paper, it would be like uh would be better. Lah. Because like tissue is like very tiny, like and it's like how to say very small, right? So mm -hmm. yeah. you one maybe suggestion. Yeah, maybe I can try with your tissue. Uh, and if you guys okay, notice, uh, oh, oh, can I add oh, out? Uh, so uh, I heard just now Najwa uh, was saying that she was not creative enough as uh, Najiha, you know, about doing this uh, stationary holder. Uh, but then I felt the leaflets you did uh, on uh, on particular stationary holder, the leaflets around the you know the container, it was actually uh, looks so uh, looks too cool. And yeah, actually, you are creating you know, you know, to you know to match the colors because usually arts will uh, mutual your how to say your self expression, you know. So girls usually they will go for flowers, and you know it's actually it's they they will let you know who are you actually to uh, to to what are the objects they actually like and you know admire about. So actually arts will uh, reflect your self-expression. So uh, we can see like, you know, girls uh, always go after flowers, right? So because we are more, you know, firmer and, you know, uh, uh, you know, sensible compared to men around the world. So, you know, it expresses your feelings. So I can see that, you know, uh, by doing more arts, you know, uh, by more uh, by doing more arts and adding arts into our life, it actually uh, nurtures more self-expression. So uh, it was a good, uh, how to say creativity uh, I have seen from both sides and uh, <laughs> and Arvi uh, that tissue thing is actually it's, uh, it's called an art, as a what an art which <laughs> which you know if, if it gets uh, if it gets dry up uh, after you know get soaked with uh, watercolor it will become harder the tissue will become harder so it won't uh, break easily la. <laughs> try it out later <laughs> So yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Sujita. Uh, I agree with you because uh, from art also we can we can uh, like determine our personality, right? So, uh, yeah. What? Uh, so are the opinion? Maybe yeah. Taki. Oh. Like they just said the flowers like. They, how they resemble the girl's characteristic, right? Maybe we can do on car or robot, then it will like reflect the men's preferences. Do you agree that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> agree, agree with me. Just a suggestion. I'm not fighting, just a suggestion.
anyone like punita do you have anything to say uh actually i want to ask how long you all took to do that stationary order is it like time consuming or you did it within like few hours okay yeah it's if you are if you are going to do the wine that i did with the flowers uh i can say it take quite some time uh to do the flowers especially uh if i can remember is it takes about um one hour like that for me to done the whole uh the whole thing but uh if you if you can uh, if you want to save more time maybe you can go for a simple decoration and what about Najwa? Well, we're doing a project. Okay. Uh, as for me, uh, I'm actually paint uh paint the container with the tissue because uh I can't paint the container with a brush. It will like uh leave a trace. You know, like it's very ugly. Uh, so I'm just I'm just uh uh using the tissue. I just dab 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 it. So yep. Uh, it takes time uh, for it to dry. I think like for the dry only, I use like two hours to make sure that it completely dry uh, before I attach the uh, what decoration. But uh, in my case, I, I don't have uh, like glue gun, hot glue gun at, at home that time. So I'm just I'm just tie it up. I, I just I just do it. I just do it. I just wind wind the container to like uh complete complete complete. So I just I just tie all and yep, that's that's the result. So um then it takes a lot of time, yeah. If I if I being honest. You can actually use sponge also instead of just tissues to, to paint the stationery holder. It will make it easier. Mm. Yeah, but I don't I don't have a sponge either. <laughs> so I just I just grab anything around me. I just oh okay, I will I will use the tissue that, 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 that. I just I just do that. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh are this uh question? A uh, question mm. uh, before we mm. end this uh, group discussion. I just want to ask about your uh, main preferences. Uh, if you were, if you, if you were about to find a stationary holder, are you guys are going to do it by yourself? I mean, do a DIY stationary holder, or are you guys? Prefer to buy to buy one at the shop. And maybe uh, from yeah. from what? my opinion, I think I would just go to the shop and I will buy oh, it buy. like because now in doing FOP very much anyway. That's why. Yeah, I will buy also because like nowadays the pencil holder are cheap also, right? I think so, we can get for one ringgit. Uh, in shop it's like very yeah. cheap. So I think we can rather buy than do it. Yeah. <laughs> I also I also will buy. I I can't I can get myself into that process again. Same. For for me it depends. Uh, according to my mood lah. If I have mood to do, I you know uh because I'm more to art. <laughs> so I'm a person uh more to art. So it depends on my mood. But I have I have a what a store uh stationery holder. It's not a and make one lap. Maybe I rather. Yeah, I something. think. Maybe. Yeah, but sometimes the one uh, the stationery holder that they sell at shops, for example, uh, the Echo Shop, you know, sometimes uh, the I mean the the glue is not is not stick well, you know. Sometimes the parts can be easily detangled. Ah, uh, yeah. So I think. Um, that's the, the advantages uh, if you bought 
uh, maybe a cheap one with uh, the quality. Yeah, maybe if you want to be like, uh, make sure it can, uh, I mean, long for uh, long lasting, so we can just uh, make it one for yourself. Okay, good. Overall, it's a good project. So I think well, you guys done a very good job. Okay. So is there any there? Is there is there anyone want to say anything before we conclude the session? All right. No, no, no. So I think that's all from us for this week. So thank you for everyone for your cooperation. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good project. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Raya. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, Raya. Selamat Raya. Selamat Raya too. Please, please wear your mask. Don't go out. Follow SOPs.